Sketchbook Challenge 31. It is Monster. Hanging out with me today is Jim Toe. And Jim is a comic book artist who's worked for a lot of the top tier comic book companies, including Marvel Comics. And he's worked with all kinds of cool characters, including two of my favorites, Spider-Man and Deadpool. Awesome to have you with us once again. All right, so for Monster, real quick before we dive in, I wanted to share with you another one of the prints that is gonna be one of the prizes at the end of this. And I feel like this is, I was trying to find a segue with Monster. This is Encounter on Pana Prime, and of course, this was the first appearance of Boba Fett from the Star Wars Holiday Special, where Boba Fett was riding this Pana Dragon. And so this is kind of my Monster for the day. But what I thought Jim and I would do is create awesome monsters from scratch. So you guys at home, obviously I want you guys to fill a page. You could draw a vicious, just terrifying monster that's like the stuff of nightmares, or you could draw a monster that's cute and almost like a children's book. We're gonna draw some monsters today. Are you ready to get your monster on? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> All right. What's your starting point? Like if you're gonna draw the stuff of nightmares, a monster, like what are you thinking? I have no idea, and I'm probably just gonna square off a little corner here before I go into like a full drawing and just kind of mess with some shapes and see where that takes me. Nice, so like, you're gonna do a thumbnail first for the whole yeah. thing? Yeah. All right, yeah. that's good. I like the way you think. For creature design, or really for design of anything, I feel like if you have a really good silhouette, you almost can't lose. So like yes. already I'm looking at your silhouette and I'm like, oh my gosh, you could just fill that whole thing in black and maybe glowing eyes or something like that. And it's like already, yeah. that is super, super cool. Thank you. So I feel like I got a kind of a cool outline and the rest is just gonna be filling in details. But I, you know, for me, I always like putting in my dark outlines first. And I feel like this is what people are gonna see the most is these, these heavy lines. Yeah. So then I can do, it's almost like I can't go wrong with the chicken scratch that I do for all the details. Yeah. Are you thinking of like a backstory of your character at all? Like, is this a, is this a, like an alien monster on another planet, or is this something that has risen out of the sewers of New York City? I like the New York sewer system idea. I, at the end of the day, I really was just trying to figure out shapes, and you know, if I saw this guy down the hall from me, I'd want to run in the opposite direction as fast as possible. <laughs> What's the backstory on yours? It's hard to create something new. I feel like there's nothing new under the sun. So mm -hmm. anything you can possibly think of, you're pulling from other things you've seen before. Yeah. So there is a little bit of Violator from Spawn. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know if other people would see it, but I kind of see it. I actually see the front snout of this. It's kind of turtle-like, but it's starting to look like the Rancor from mm. Return of the Jedi a little bit. I love that you purposely, how the toenails are connecting into the ground. It's almost like they're growing out of the ground. <laughs> that, like I would probably like separate that because I'm just so used to like separating things into little boxes, but I love, I just love stuff like that. I just, it's so cool. It just adds to the three dimensionality of it. Thank you. It's so great. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good trick.
Monsters are always scarier if they come out of the darkness, right? That is so cool. It's almost like the ground is cracking a little bit where it landed. Got some weight. Oh my gosh, and it's like the arms are what walk almost or something. <laughs> that is so neat. I am so intrigued by your monster and like I feel like that should be a thing. Like that is a really cool design. Thank you. I, lo I love the mouth, how the mouth is like open but there's like there's other parts of the mouth and then is that light beaming from like the inside of the mouth or do you I see think right so. though? Wow. <laughs> Super cool, super creative. All right, guys, you guys need to create your own monster. You want to fill a page, and you can do something just totally vicious and terrifying, or you could do a cute bubbly monster, too. There's nothing wrong with that. The stuff of nightmares. <laughs> you guys should definitely give us a like for bringing our A-game today. Also, leave a comment down below. I want to hear what scares you. What's the most terrifying thing you can think of for a monster? Is it something that has a lot of teeth? Are you afraid of tentacles? What are some things that you guys are afraid of that you would like to incorporate with your monster? I want to hear about it down below. Are you enjoying the sketchbook challenge? If so, give me a like. I want to know you're dedicated with today's mission, so let me know in the comments, challenge accepted. Also, if you have ideas for cool sketchbook challenges, I want to hear about them. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got my Matt's Class series currently running. Plus, you can draw Star Wars videos, Hollywood is Dead, and sneak peeks at Aladdin 3477. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any sketchbook challenges. If you're drawing on an iPad, be sure to check out Interactive Sketchbook. The sketchbook challenge is growing each day, but depends on spreading the word. So please share this video on social media with your art friends so you can help challenge and motivate each other. Lastly, if posting your challenges on Instagram, be sure to follow me at Matt underscore Bush underscore Instagram. See you guys in a couple days for the next sketchbook challenge.